The TS3 telemetry shackle load cell is designed for use with the DLM TW3 telemetry handheld. If you need to pair both devices, firstly hold down the power button for at least 3 seconds. Next, press the middle menu button, then channels and select the channel you would like to use. Scroll down to the pair option and select pair. Now, turn to the TS3 and hold down the button for at least 8 seconds. You will see on the TW3 a 30 second countdown for the pairing to take place. Once the device has been paired, the TW3 will exit the pairing screen and the LED on the TS3 will begin to flash twice per second. Now the devices are paired, to test the shackle load cell you may dismantle it as shown by first removing the split pin, unscrewing the bolt and then sliding the pin out of the shackle. The first step in safely rigging the load cell is making sure you are using the equipment correctly. Firstly, ensure the orange colour painted on the shackle is on the side of the shackle pin with anti-rotation dowels as shown. Insert the pin into the shackle eyes with the bobbin located in the centre between the shackle jaws. The nut should only be tightened by hand. The master ring must be in the centre of the bobbin and the load cell should be balanced so that the load is applied correctly and the accurate load measured. Once the rigging is fitted to the load cell, press the tear button to zero off the weight of the rigging. This then enables you to gain the accurate weight of the item you are weighing without taking account of the weight of the rigging itself. For the purposes of this video, we are using a lever hoist to simulate a load being applied. You will then see the load increasing on the TW3 handheld. If you want to store the highest load value seen by the load cell on the display, you can press the peak hold button. If you would like to view the figures in different units, press the units button and you can choose tonne, pounds, kilonewton, kilogram force and kilogram.